Sarah Jessica Parker looked typically stylish as she stepped out in the West Village, New York City on Thursday. The Sex and the City star, 59, wore a polka dot trench coat as she strolled through her neighborhood to pick up a pizza and some ice cream from Linda Street Pizzeria. She teamed her chic black and white jacket with smart trousers, that featured piping down the sides and a shirt. Sarah added a pop of color to her look with some hot pink heels and carried a graphic printed tote bag. Pulling her long hair back into a sleek bun, she shielded her eyes with sunglasses and popped on some headphones. Sarah recently revealed her daughters can eat as much cake and cookies as they desire after it was banned in her house as a child. The actress, who shares twin daughters Tabitha and Marion, 14, and son James Wilkie, 21, with her husband Matthew Broderick, has said it's important to her that her daughters have a healthy relationship with food. Speaking to River Cafe owner Ruth Rogers Ruthie's Table 4 podcast, Sarah said, When I had girls, I didn't want them to have a relationship with food that was antagonistic and to see it as an enemy. When I was growing up we weren't allowed sugar in the house or chocolate or cookies. So of course, the minute we moved out we all bought a load of cakes and cookies, and I didn't want that for them. In our house we have cookies, we have cake, we have everything, and as a result you have a better relationship. And my daughters will have the figures they have and hopefully they'll be healthy. And they're athletes and they enjoy food and have different palates. I hope that they can maintain their affection for the experience and their delight in taste. Sarah revealed that she and Matthew, who tied the knot in 1997, cook every day and eat together as a family every night. She added, Matthew cooks, we both cook every single day. We eat dinner as a family every night. And always have dinner every Sunday night. It's just what we do. Speaking of when she travels abroad, Sarah said she doesn't want to eat posh food suggested by staff at hotels. But instead, she tracks employees back to their houses and eats locally. She said, if you're on holiday, trying to find restaurants, I do endless months of research. And you get to your destination, and you'll try to ask people and they'll send you to the place everyone else in the hotel is going. And it'll be no. No where do you eat Mr. Concierge? Where do you eat? And they won't tell me because they think we want this stacked food, fancy. And so ill just follow the employees home. I literally follow them home. And I see where they live in their communities and their restaurants. And that's where I go and that's where I shop. The third series of the revived Sex and the City show, and just like that, was confirmed in summer last year and is expected to be released in 2025. The actress said when work gets tough, 
her favorite comfort food are pork chops from the local supermarket in New York City. She said she also wishes she could take Burford eggs home with her from London.